Because the business that we are talking about is a Ghanaian business. Yes, you heard sis correctly. We are taking it international. So I'm going to be reviewing a gel from a black owned business station in Ghana, Africa. Okay. So before I go ahead and get into the details of today's video, if you are not already part of the Curly Chris fam, I'm going to need for you to do one thing for your girl at least before you leave, okay? And that is to smash that button down below. Smash that button down below. Hit it like you mean it and go ahead and join the Curly Chris fan because we would love to have you here, all right? So let's go ahead and hop into these details, y'all. So the business that I'm going to be reviewing is called Coco Black Naturals. And this is the curling custard. Now let me tell you guys how I ended up with this custard, okay? Because I didn't just... Like, they're in Ghana, and how, how would I come about finding about this business, right? So, I believe Healthy Hair Journey, which is like a natural hair Instagram page, posted them on their page, and it was like this video where I was like, dang, this product looks like, y'all, the product was, the what the product was doing to that girl's hair, I was like, what kind of sorcery is going on? Like, it looks so good. So, I thought about it for a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I gotta have this. I got to have this gel. Now, you guys know I don't do wash and goes like that, but whenever I saw that and what it was able to do to her hair, I, I gained faith and hope from the, from what I was seeing, basically. So I hit up the brand, because I tried to purchase, but it was like too, too complicated for me to try to purchase it. So I was like, let me just hit them up and see. So I hit them up and, you know, told, like, asked them they wanted to send in PR, and they did. So that's how I ended up getting this. And I got the La, Lan, Lan, take your time. La Molin Oil. So a La Molin Oil and then the Curling Custard. Um, the oil is from what direction say you just apply it like to your hair and scalp like you would a regular oil it does smell good though and it's made with essential oils and organic ingredients now about the curling custard which is the star of the show so on the website and on their instagram page whenever they talk about this they're using a um it's like a clear jar type of look type, type of packaging but when i got it it was in this so just in case you do decide to order it and you don't get that clear jar or if you do get that clear jar they do have multiple ways of packaging seems like so this is the one that i got now the thing that also really took me by surprise i gotta mention this the color huh what was that a black gel y'all a black gel like this look like that um what is it am pro that pro source gel that we, that used to be that's still at the beauty supply store not used to be that's still at the beauty supply store the one that be leaving the little brown flakes that's the color of this that's what it reminded me of but apparently it does not leave a black residue on your curls as far as the smell it smells like I don't know. It smells not too too great, but it don't smell bad. It's just like a really, it's like a heavy, highly scented smell, basically. But it don't smell bad. The oil smells good, so I think we'll be okay. Also, y'all, on the Instagram page, they only show the hair being styled on like dry hair. Well, that's the majority of what they show. So I'm gonna just make my hair more so on like the damp side instead of wet. And try to use this and what I'm also gonna do I know I'm doing a lot of talking but I really just want I have a lot to say for this okay y'all don't listen um, I want to do a wash and go over here and a twist out over here 
so we can really see what the gel does for both styles. On the back, I already applied the leave-in. I applied the Eden Body Works. And in the front, I applied the Ajwa Beauty leave-in. The reason why I did two separate ones is because I ran out of the Eden Body Works. So I just used what I had, which was the Ajwa. Now I'm going to go in. I know I'm using my towel and not my microfiber, but this is all I have right here. So I'm going to go in and just take out some of that water. Y'all, I hope this does what I need it to do. I really do. So I went and got my Pattern Beauty brush so I could just detangle. And then we're going to go in, y'all, with... Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Well, y'all, look, it's like legit black, yo. So what they did was start it at the roots and really applied it at the roots. And then they drug it on down. I'm gonna apply a tad bit more. Oh! <laughs> gonna stand up! Well, let me not get too excited because y'all know I got excited for that flexi gel and uh. I digress <laughs> and I'm also gonna show you guys the back and how the back of my hair looks once it dries I just don't be showing y'all the back of my hair I don't know why but I'm gonna show y'all with this one okay but y'all look how good this definition looks like this looks bomb what yeah that looks so good Wow, I'm impressed, not gonna lie, I'm impressed. She's impressed. Oh wait, well let me read you guys the claims. It claims that it's great for type three and four hair texture, non-flaking, easy wash. It will add shine, fabulous curls, conditions hair, and promote growth. So that's the claims. All right, now let's move on. That looks so good. Like, I, I feel like I'm more so super excited to do this review because it's actually a brand that's, like, straight out of Ghana, you know? Like, they are, it's shipped via DHL, so you, you know it's an international brand. Um, oh, and also the packaging. I'm going to show y'all how this thing came packaged inside that DHL bag. They said, I'm going to make sure that this don't waste, okay? I went and got my microfiber towel, by the way. Like, they tape the mess out that thing. And let's go in with the gel. As far as how much this gel retails for, I'm, I'm gonna look that. I'm gonna look that up so I can let you guys know because I know y'all gonna want to know how much it costs. Whoa. <laughs> this is bomb. All right, y'all. So. My camera cut off. The camera cut off and I got, I had so many good angles for y'all. I don't know how that happened, but I was upset about it, but I said, sis, it happened. I can't do nothing about it. So let me say something about this gel. Do y'all see these curls? Like that looks so good. Honestly, it's a definition for me. It is so defined, y'all. 
Like, I really wish I had done a wash and go on both sides. And you guys know, like, I don't do wash and goes like that. Now, let me say one thing. Mm-hmm. Y'all hear that? Y'all, crunchy, honey. It is crunchy. It has a cast. This gel cast is, well, this custard cast is so strong. Like, my hair is legit hard, y'all. And that's why I don't typically like to use gels and custards. Although I know that oil will remove some of that cast. I just, I just like the moisture component behind it for me. Like, I, I want my hair to feel and I want to feel like it is very, very moisturized. And sometimes I don't get that effect with a lot of gels. But overall, I mean, I do love how my hair looks. My hair looks amazing. It feels hard. It is very crunchy. Even the twist over here are like crunchy but one thing about it, it is very very shiny okay so what i'm gonna do now is go in with i'm just gonna use regular olive oil um for this part and i'm just gonna go in and separate these twists we'll unravel these twists and i just hope that the definition is as good as i know it could be That definition looks so good. That looks nice. It's just so crunchy in certain areas, y'all. Like it's potato chip type crunchy. The baked lace, so y'all know. Okay, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This is lit. Like, look at this. Wow. Now we're gonna go in and separate into smaller pieces. Y'all! Oh my gosh! Cause this is what I was most concerned about was when I separated, am I going to get a lot of frizz? Yes or no? And honestly, I am not getting a lot of frizz. Now up here it is, yeah, see that? See that's where that hard cast comes into play. Whenever it gets like this all up in the inside, where it gets kind of stuck together. What we are looking like on each side, the twist outside and the wash and go side. Once I started separating the twist over here, it did loosen up a little bit. However, it does still have some of a hold, especially at the roots, the hold is there a lot. So what I'm gonna go do is take a blow dryer to the roots on both sides and try to stretch it a little bit and see if that will fix the hold that is on my hair. But the twist out looks really good, y'all. For the future, I will most definitely put like a cream or something before that custard because I don't like that hard, hard cast feel. But y'all, this these ends, I think for the first time, I like the wash and go side a little better. Come on, my Ghanaian sisters. Fam. This it. This is it. Y'all, I honestly love this custard. For a wash and go. For the twist out, it's a, uh, well actually, let me just tell you how I really feel about everything. So the wash and go size, first start with that. Do y'all see the curls? Like this is what I need when I try a wash and go. You guys know whenever I do wash and goes, my hair just looks really limp and I just don't like how the definition is not throughout the curl. But I can see the definition throughout the curl with this. And it looks so good. Like to me, this is what I would want for a wash and go every single time I do a wash and go. And once I put some of the olive oil on it, it did break some of the cast, but there still is a little bit of cast left on my hair, but it's not one to complain about at all whatsoever. It is not one to complain about, but I really wish I had done the wash and go on both sides because this is popping. Like I love this side. Whenever I mess with my hair, there is some stuff flying in the air. So it does have like this black, these little black particles. Like you know whenever your hair flakes, 
typically is white flakes, but these are like black flakes. But the only reason why I don't really mind them is because they are black and you can't tell in the look. But there are like some black, some little black things that are like on my clothes. Maybe I'll get like insert a close up so you guys can see what I mean. It looks like whenever a man has like shaved his beard and they're like touching it up and everything that be falls on the shirt, that's exactly what it looks like. But since it's black, you can't even tell. <laughs> but overall, y'all, this is it, y'all. I love these results. And I'm even more happy for these results because I used a product from Ghana. That is also why I'm so happy that my results came out this popping. Because I really wanted this to be a success so I can give a good bomb review. And I'm able to do just that. So let me know which side you feeling the most. You like the wash and go side on sis or you like the twist out side on sis? Let me know. Oh y'all, there's so many flakes on my desk though. Maybe it is an issue. Maybe it is an issue. <laughs> I'm over here trying to ignore it, but like it's Flake City over here. But you can't see it on the hair though. You can't see it on the hair. And look at the bounce. Look at the bounce. And then again, those flakes could also come from me using too much of the product because I did go a little bit overboard, I think, with the product. I love how my hair turned out. I'm also going to come back in a few days and let you guys see how it looks so we can see how it holds up. So I'm going to see y'all in a few days and we're going to check it out. All right, fam. So, y'all, it is three days later and do y'all see these curls? Like... The definition of the wash and go side, y'all, is popping. Even the twist outside is nice too. However, one thing I want to mention, y'all, is the flakes are pretty real. Like, over these past few days, every single time I touch it, there's stuff flying in the air. There's stuff flying in the air right now. I'm going to try to get close so you guys can see what I mean, but... There is so many flakes, but there are black flakes. And whenever I sleep, there's like a little bit of black on my pillow, like black flakes if I'm um, sleeping on like my satin pillowcase or whatever. But I don't mind it because the definition looks so good, but it is kind of frustrating whenever you're trying to like, you know, stretch your hair or, you know, manipulate it and there's flakes flying everywhere. So that is a concern for me for sure. I wouldn't allow that to like stop you, stop you from buying the gel, but I love my hair y'all. Let me let you guys see how it looks in the back. So the amount of frizz that I did get over the days, I actually like, I think it looks really, really good. It looks really big and voluminous and like, oh, I love whenever I have like a fresh face, like no foundation and my hair is big. I just feel like it's a vibe. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna come back, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hair soon, but I want you guys to know how the product works whenever it's washed out. All right, y'all, so I have rinsed that out and y'all, there was no black residue or anything in the tub when I rinsed it out, so it washed out clear, washed out very, very easily. So you guys have seen me apply the custard to my hair, y'all seen the dry results, the stretch results a few days later and the after. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this overall review thank you so much to coco black for sending me this custard to try out i really did enjoy it and i most definitely will be using it again go ahead and support and cop you some because you will not be disappointed okay and thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm gonna see you guys in my next video